Hello, my name is Stephanie Kiederlen. Today, I would like to introduce Prospective Instruments, a manufacturer for multi-photon microscopes and femtosecond lasers. Prospective is located in Dornbirn, Austria, and our vision is to provide high-level microscopes that are independent of technical knowledge in no working space. They are truly turnkey, um, very compact, very flexible. So even people with no deep technical knowledge on the microscopy side can easily use and run these microscopes. And the BNN network is a valuable platform for us to exchange information, of course, fostering collaborations, but also to really reach the end users. Perspective is providing different imaging solutions. We have our multi-photo microscopes, which are turnkey, multi-model, um, so you can combine different microscopy techniques in one device, um, very compact, and um, we have the femtosecond lasers as well as standalone devices for microscopy applications, but of course also for different kinds of applications. We are working on a histopathology device, which um, uses intrinsic information of unprocessed tissue like a biopsy or resection to create a virtual AI-powered H&E staining for faster diagnosis. And we are providing an imaging service. We have different microscopy techniques in our core facility. We can also help with the sample preparation and then with the data processing, of course. Today, I would like to introduce our microscopes and lasers. Our multi-photo microscopes, as I mentioned before, are turnkey, easy to use, very compact, air-cooled, so you don't need an additional water cooling. We have two different models. We have our MPX models with the uh, laser already built in, everything is fully integrated and pre-aligned, or we are offering um, a three-photon ready um, microscope, the MPC, where you can couple in any kind of laser. The concept of both models is still the same. You have the controller unit um, underneath the desk here. The controller contains the um, electronics, the high power PC or high performance PC, the light source. It's connected by a flexible umbilical to the scanning unit, which you can see here on top of the desk with a very small footprint. The scanning unit um, is mounted on an XYC stage for three axis movement. You can upgrade it to a five axis stage for a tip tilt function as well. You have a very large working distance underneath the objective lens, which allows you to put any kind of sample holder underneath the microscope. You have 360 degrees access from every side. And you can run the microscope in an upright or an inverted configuration. So you don't have to decide in the beginning what kind of configuration you need. And on the left-hand side, you can see different kind of samples. Um, you can do live animal imaging, like with living mice, big tissue sections, but of course, every standard lab dish, like standard objective slides. Also, our femtosecond lasers are turnkey, compact, and air-cooled. You can um, decide on the output, whether you want a dual output, a fixed wavelength, a tunable wavelength. They are high power with a low RIN and phase noise. You can use the femtosecond lasers for microscopy techniques like for two-photon, higher harmonics, flim cars, and so on. But of course, also a broad range of um, other applications. Because I mentioned before the multimodality of our microscopes, here's an overview of key techniques that can be combined in our microscopes. You have, for example, the two photon or three photon fluorescence microscopy, then higher harmonics generation microscopy like SHG or THG, especially for label free imaging, also CARS or SRS for label free imaging, the standard AP wide field fluorescence microscopy or fluorescence lifetime microscopy for metabolic imaging, for example. And then there's an add-on, um, the mini 2P, which is a very small scanning unit uh, mounted on a head of a freely moving mouse. And other than the head fixed mouse experiments with the mini 2P, um, you can do the imaging really during the decision-making of the mouse. 
and key applications for these kind of microscopy techniques would be, of course, every 3D or 4D imaging, in vitro and in vivo imaging, whole slide imaging, label-free imaging, non-destructive or deep tissue imaging, and in the field um, um, in the field of pathology and cancer, neuroscience, optogenetics, tissue engineering, bioprinting, and um, of course, every 3D cell culture like spherids, organelles. Um, and I would like to end this talk with a very sneak, um, a very brief sneak into some key applications here. On your left hand side, you can see um, examples for 3D and 4D imaging of spherids and organelles. Um, the top image here, you can see a 3D volume scan of a spherid embedded in a hydrogel. And here you can see the multimodality of two photon and SHG imaging. So SHG imaging can image um, collagen fibers label free. And in this case, the spherid was stained um, for the cell nuclei and the actin cytoskeleton. And then simultaneously, you can detect the two photon fluorescence and the SHG signal. Of course, you can do time-lapse imaging or 4D imaging in a spherid using a live stain. And this allows you to really see the, the behavior and, and morphology or whatever is interesting to you during uh, or over time, not only at the surface of the spherid, but really in an intermediate plane. Another important key application um, would be in vivo imaging or deep tissue imaging, for example, in the field of neuroscience. One classical example here is GCAMP imaging to detect um, neuron activity by the calcium influx. Um, so you can see the, the um, the calcium here labeled in green and the neurons firing. And Prospectus is also offering a very fast resonance scanning unit for fast dynamic processes. Like in this video here, you can see um, the erythrocytes running through the brain capillaries in a, in a, in a mouse head. And um, important key application, of course, is also label-free imaging, especially in the field of pathology and cancer. Here's an example uh, which we called white field guided multi photon imaging. In this case, we combined the standard epi white field fluorescence with um, two photon and SHG microscopy. And what we do here is a very fast overview scan of, uh, in this case, a human melanoma FFPE tissue section. And then we decide on different regions of interests and especially the SHG signal originating from the collagen in the extracellular matrix can tell you a story about the microenvironment of the tumor. And you can clearly see differences between the healthy tissue here and then the lesion here. And SHG imaging can also be used for, for example, to detect injured um, muscles or tendon. Here you can see an example of a tissue section of a mouse muscle and um, you can see the muscle tissue here and a tendon um, is running right through the muscle and this is imaged um, completely label free with SHG imaging. With this I would like to end my talk. I hope you have a nice overview um, of prospective instruments and we are always open for collaborations so please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.